Hi, you're watching Petodendron, and in today's video, I'm showing you Orange County's top five nurseries. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Patrick, and I love plants. And if you do too, you should definitely hit that subscribe button because I love going on these planty adventures and taking you along with. So if that sounds like something that could be fun for you, then you should definitely consider hitting subscribe. Today, I am excited to unveil a new series. I want to be showcasing nurseries in a different way that I haven't done before. So I compiled a list of top five nurseries in Orange County. These are my favorite ones and it's gonna be in no particular order. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Here are my top five nurseries in Orange County. First nursery on this list is Upland Nursery. Upland Nursery is one of my favorite nurseries here in Orange County. Not very nurseries. Let's hear that again. Not very nurseries can say that they have a personality on their own and I have to say Upland Nursery does have that personality. See Upland Nursery is where to go if you are looking for something unique. Unique? They do a great job of keeping this nursery fresh and exciting and the sign up front even says it. They proudly carry awesome rare plants. Whoa, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the Polypodium nidii. Oh, you don't like ferns, you say? Well, come here and let me change your mind because there's some really amazing species. Like this, Devalia fagensis, the rabbit's foot fern. Those are some crazy rabbit's feet. Ooh, and look, these must be making their round. The agave white rhino. These are so beautiful. Oof. I did find some plants to tug at my heartstrings right now. Look at this giant, well, it's giant to me because I have a tiny little ficus petiolaris at home. I love this ficus. It has the cutest heart-shaped leaves with the pink veins. And these are $89. They have a little baby one too, if you don't want a big one. But one thing I did learn about my little ficus petiolaris is that it likes so much more water than I think. So I tend to underwater it because I don't want it to get root rot, but oof, it's a hot day. <laughs> but now that I've been giving it a lot more consistent watering, it's putting out the thickest, juiciest, biggest, fattest hearts. <laughs> so good. Oh yeah. And this Anthurium polypodium is still here. Like all the other nurseries, Upland Nursery has a great selection of Hoyas? And where else can you get a Alocasia coculata this size for $39? I can't tell you where I've seen one like this because I haven't seen it. Ooh, I'm loving this. This is the Spathophyllum Domino, but it's giving me a white princess vibes. The Philodendron white princess, especially right there. Isn't that pretty? Whoa, look at these giant fern leaf cacti and one thing you can't miss because it is one of the greatest cacti and succulent departments in any nursery in orange county so check out the cacti and succulents here look this peely is about to put out a big fat flower stapeli flowers are so cool man do they stink but man are they beautiful Ooh. and they still have all the beautiful euphorbia lactea white ghosts it's like a shrine isn't it they also have just about every slumber jera. Okay, well, they have Christmas and spring. Whoa, look at this. This is gonna be one stinky pot. And they have these cool little crassula pangolin. You don't see these very often. Same with these, Gasteria armstrongii. I don't always see these, and I always find something to pique my interest, spark my imagination, induce awe and wonder. I do love this, Ripsalis elliptica. I feel like I visit it every time I come. One day, one day I will have the space to justify a beautiful $100 hanging <laughs> Ripsalis elliptica. <laughs> but wait, there's more. All these huge plants are for sale. Whoa. Have I seen that here before? 
That's the biggest Euphorbia Horrida I've ever seen. $6.99 for that baby. See what I mean when I say that this nursery has a personality? I always have a hard time leaving here without buying anything. It's it's a sickness, I know. Ugh. But one of my hanging plants just fell on my begonia maculata, chopping it in half. So I'm really wanting one just to make myself feel better. $42. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna pretend like it's July. <laughs> no problem. That was cute. I love Upland Nursery. The next nursery on my list is Martinez Nursery. I love Martinez Nursery because I've been coming here for years. When I first started coming here, Martinez Nursery was mainly focused on cacti and succulents. And they still have so many awesome and beautiful cacti to purchase and collect here. But when I started collecting house plants, I came here and I was blown away by the selection and I still continue to get blown away because their houseplant section just keeps growing and growing and they just keep adding to it and adding to it, which is really cool. They have a beautiful selection of alocasia. I was gonna say, I just got my alocasia zebrina from here and they have a ton of them still. And if you're in the market for long trailing string of hearts, this is where you go. You don't have to wait for it to grow. Whoa, this is new. They have some large silver swords for $30. That's cool. Ooh, and some alocasia stingrays. These are only $12. And by now we all know how I respect a place that carries some beautiful begonias. And this place carries some beautiful begonias. And I also love that this place has these beautiful Instagram-worthy Pilea peperomioides. Eat your heart out, botanist by heart. Here's another one of those impressive begonias. This one's only $30. Look at this giant flower right here. This belongs to this giant cactus. These are only $65. That is such a good deal. Ooh, and if I had to point out a good deal, this one's great. Astrophytum Asterius for $15. These are so cute. Martinez Nursery is always so fun and I always love the plants that I get from here. They're all so beautiful and so healthy. And they have really good deals on pots too. And not only are the plants in selection awesome, but it's a family owned business and the Martinez family is so nice. They're a great family owned business to come and support. Martinez Nursery is great. There's always some really great plants to be found there, but there's more on the list. The next nursery I'd like to highlight is... California Greenhouses. The cool thing about coming to California Greenhouses is that this is where a lot of the local plant stores get their inventory. So if you come here, they're open to the public, so you can find yourself some really cool plants for really good prices. California Greenhouses has all my favorites, like all the Hoyas. This Hoya Curtisii is so full. They also have an awesome selection of large floor plants and lush, beautiful, long trailing hanging baskets. Wow, this is so cool. Ever see so many snow queens all in one place? Or I guess in Australia? I just learned that these are called snow queens. These are uh, Pothos Enjoy. At least they are in the US. But no matter where in the world you're from, we have your snow queen. And I love that they have these Adansonii's growing up on wooden stakes. You can see the leaves get nice and big and mature when they grow up something. And they have the largest, most coolest looking, most coolest looking, coolest looking ficus audrey that I've ever seen. It's hard to imagine that I could kill these. I've also filmed two or three beginner videos here, so this is a great place to go if you are a beginner houseplant enthusiast. They have so many awesome plants for you to start your journey with, like the Monstera, 
Cannon Serenii, eye. Snake Plants Galore. But if you want to fall in love and get your heart broken, there's plenty of traps to fall in love with. And Thurium Jungle Bush for $6, that's really cool. That's the manager's special. They also have such a cool selection of air plants. Like, I've never seen this before. It's huge. They also have an awesome selection of pots here. So if you have a ton of repotting to do, this is where you go because they have all kinds. Great prices too. California Greenhouses is also connected to OC Succulents. So they have an awesome selection of cacti and succulents. That you'll have to be sure to check out when you come. California Greenhouses is huge. And I love that about it. But it's not always about the size because the next nursery that I'm gonna showcase is Evergreen Nursery and it's just a really cool and special nursery. Well, check this out. Evergreen Nursery is one of my favorite Orange County nurseries. To me, it's very much the little nursery that could because this place packs in a punch. You know I love supporting a good family-owned nursery and Evergreen Nursery is another family-owned nursery. They do such a great job of just buying the plants and their daughter Cindy also does an awesome job of curating their Hoya section. Where else in Orange County can you buy a Hoya fungi for $20 at a nursery? Let me tell you, nowhere. <laughs> this little Hoya table is awesome. There's so many different goodies. Well, it's not just a Hoya table now. There are some cute little ZZ Zenzies. ZZ Zenzies are ZZ plants that we never see in California, but they do have them here. They're so cute. Here's a Disgidia tonsuensis. That's really unique. Unique? Ooh. And a Hoya Australis with the outer variegation. Oops. Whoa. Seeing all of these alocasia Amazonicas together looks really cool. And they have a lipstick plant that's blooming. That is so cute. It really does look like lipstick. <laughs> look at all of these variegated string of hearts. I'm loving these philodendron hybrids. I can't keep up. What is this? A philodendron red sun? And not only do they have a great selection of uncommon Hoyas, they also have all of the common Hoyas that you might be looking for. Like this variegated Wyetii. Ooh, they still have some super large Pothos. Well, there's one left from the last time I was here. These are cool. Oh. Here are more blooming Ishkananthus or lipstick plants. I wish I had more space. I'd have all the lipstick plants. <laughs> this video, top five nurseries or an homage to lipstick plants. I don't know what this is happening. <laughs> and finally, we're at the last nursery, Plant Depot. Plant Depot in San Juan Capistrano is just such a special nursery. They have so many plants to choose from and the prices are pretty fair for the most part. And also, Plant Depot is the nursery that I chose to do my first video on, so it holds a special place in my heart. This is a great nursery with so many awesome plants. I mean, I made my trap video here. A lot of the comments I got were how beautiful and fully stocked this nursery is, and it's not a lie. It's a good and all kinds of beginner traps to choose from. Heartbreak City, here we come. And when here, make sure to show the Hoya section some love because they always have such a great selection of Hoyas. Alocasia game, strong. They even started carrying rare plants. It's so cool to see more rare plants available in these nurseries. While the pricing does have to catch up with the modern times, it's nice to see the inventory catch up. So, baby steps, right? 
And when at Plant Depot, make sure you go outside because they have some awesome cacti and succulents. Rare plant alert for all the cacti and succulent aficionados. Plant Depot at San Juan Capistrano has these white rhino agaves. Look how cute this flower is. This aloe is beautiful. Aside from their succulents, there are also some really great outside plants. Come check these begonias out. Look at how massive this hanging begonia is. And not only that, check out their ferns. Their ferns are actually really cool. That's a fern. But I just love their selection of begonias. And speaking of begonias, this isn't one, <laughs> but it's called the begonia vine. The Cissus discolor, I think, is one of the most beautiful vines out there. It's kind of weird looking, but I haven't had a chance to really grow one since getting a grow tent. So I'm really excited to see one here for $22.99. That was so much fun. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. It was really cool showing you my top five nurseries in Orange County. I was really excited to make this video and to come out with this series. So stay tuned for the next compiled list. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah. That baby, I got you. No matter the distance, no matter the moves. Yeah. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling.